is up peeps in this video we are going to go over how to set up an mfa policy within your org now i'm working in my org one which is my trial tenant um and it works just fine so i'm going to show you how to set up the mfa policy so first thing we're going to do is we're going to confirm that the mfa policy is not active so i'm going to log out of the admin account and I'm going to show you that there is no MFA policy enforcement right now. So I'll put in my password and we're going to just log in. All right, go to admin. Was that out? Okay. So we are going to check to see if we have a group we can assign this MFA policy to. And we have users added to that group. So go to directory, go to groups. Okay, we have staff here. We have information security, everyone. We're going to enforce this MFA policy to the staff group since we have four users here. So now that we've checked those boxes, we have users and we have a group that we can assign the MFA policy to. Let's start the setup process over. So we're going to go to security go to global session policies, and we're going to create a new global session policy. So add policy, give it a name, we'll call it staff MFA policy. Uh -oh. And then we'll just give it a description of MFA for all staff. We're gonna assign it to the staff group. Okay, now we're gonna give it a rule, MFA staff, policy uh -oh, staff rule <laughs> excuse me next we're going to check out the policy settings so the first four policy settings we're going to leave this set to default but we need to go down to multi-factor authentication mfa is and we're going to select require because we want to activate mfa when users within the staff group logs in so users will be prompted for mfa at every sign in so that being said, we're going to select create rule. All right, so that's active. So now we're going to go to authentication policies and we're going to add a new policy. We're going to name it staff MFA policy. And then we're going to say MFA for all staff for the description. Jeez and peace, my typing sucks today. Okay. All right, so now we're going to add a rule because we need a new rule to take priority and set the variables for this specific policy. So we're gonna call it the MFA staff uh, rule. Okay. User type stays the same. User group membership includes, we're gonna add a group and we're gonna select staff because again, we want the staff group to be prompted to set up MFA into authenticate with MFA every single time they log in. So that's gonna be set to staff. We'll leave the user as is, the device state as is. All of this information pretty much can stay the same, but we need to go down here to the then section, right? So next we need to specify the authentication methods. So we'll select allow specific authentication methods and we're going to um, select the active verify TOTP. Okay, so now what that means is anybody that's a part of this group, they're going to be required to authenticate with a password and a code from the OctaVerify app. So we're going to scroll down now where it says when to prompt for authentication, we want to change these settings. So prompt for password authentication when an Okta global session doesn't exist and then prompt for all other factors of authentication uh, every time a user signs in. So what this essentially means is every time a user signs in, the user will be prompted for the code and their password. So select save. Now that MFA staff rule is priority one and it will take effect for users of the staff group. The next section we need to go to is authenticators and we need to go to enrollment and uh, since we already have a default policy, I don't find the need to add another policy on top of this. So what we're going to do is just, we're going to change the uh, required authenticators here. So go to actions, edit, 
and then we're going to leave email disabled because that's not one of the authenticators we want but we do want octa verified to be required so we're going to select required password is already set to required we're going to update policy and now what this means is octa verify and password are required for the authentication process so what we need to do now is confirm that one of the users from the staff group um, will be prompted to set up the Okta Verify app, which will conclude and confirm that the MFA policy has been set up and enforced for the users of the staff group. So let's log out and we're going to pick a user, one of the users from the staff group. So I'm just going to use my account. Avon.com, avon.gmail.com. I'm going to put my password. And then boom, it says set up required. So what this means is the MFA policy has been enforced and now Vaughn has to set up the Octa Verify app on her phone or computer so that she can get the code and authenticate into her dashboard. So that being said, the MFA policy has been enforced. I hope that you've gained some value from this video. If you need clarity on any bit of this video, drop me a comment. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Um, and as always, be blessed.